If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Aubameyang card to take a look at. Guys, I think these cards give links to anybody, if I'm not mistaken. Like, there's certain variables with this uh, new promo on the radioactive cards. Um, but with this Aubameyang card, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, high low work rates, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, controlled player while being right footed. Additional information: so chemistry in position, two points; club chemistry, two points; nation chemistry, two points; and then league chemistry, two points. Honestly, that's a W because that means that he's not going to be too hard to link. And this is a great promo idea because his national links are not that crazy. And Marseille right now is not that crazy either unless you did certain evolution cards. So that's pretty cool for a card like this. In-game attributes, he's obviously going to be the physical type striker. Um, he has higher sprint speed. Like the, right away, I'm looking at like a finisher, to be honest, because since his sprint speed is high... Um, or let's see, let's see what this card actually looks like in game. Let's take a look at the uh, specific stuff for him. Okay. So with a bummy four star, four star, high, low work rates, unique body type. Most people are giving him a hunter or a hawk. Is it because he's lengthy on that? Oh, a hawk would make him a lengthy hunter or a hawk. So a hunter would make him a controlled player, but you get a better boost for the finishing area. It's a, I mean, mid-90s area is not bad because the thing is that this would make him a lengthy with a little bit of extra strength and a little bit of extra jumping. So I feel like that'd be kind of nice, to be fair. He's got rapid plus. So I think, excuse me, I think rapid with, uh, with a lengthy might be more ideal, to be fair. It might be. He's got finesse shot, chip shot, flare, as well as Trivella to work with too. So a couple of interesting uh, play styles as well. So... I mean, he looks pretty cool, to be fair. Again, if he gets the links easily in the squad, we're going to go ahead and unlock him and see all that kind of stuff. But if he does get the squad, the, the links easily, then it, it looks like a very interesting card as a physical type player, right? So um, let me go ahead and unlock him and I'll show you guys how we line him up. You know what we're going to do, guys? Uh, we're going to try him out on the Hawk chemistry style first. And then I might actually switch him to the, um, the Hunter afterwards because sometimes having the initial acceleration to work with the sprint speed is a little bit better too. But... Um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just see how this works out, man. Maybe it's honestly just fine as it is, but um, we'll see what he's like, man, on that hawk. Hopefully, he performs like a beast. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe. All right, one little uh, R1 controlled little sprint, and we're good to go. I'll take that. Oh, I almost scores from that angle. That would've been, you know, a green from there would've been nice for sure. Oh man, all that space at the bottom. I kind of just wanted to make that run there, you know, right away. I got a foul out of it. I don't think he has free kick stats, so I might be able to do the free kick tactic with him. Let's see. Uh, maybe. I have to like do a skill move past that other guy though, for sure. Oh, never mind. Oh, the emphasis on the touch, agility and balance for sure on that one. Nice try, nice try. Not a high percentage strike in the game. Oh, man. Maybe I should have done, like, a first-time shot on that. Nice. 
Got the drag touch in there. I, I, you know what? I might not make, I might not really care about making my lengthy. Controlled in this year's game is fine. Like lengthy was way more of a bigger deal last year than this year. So I feel like having the initial acceleration might be more ideal on that controlled. But we'll see. Oh, the dip on that strike was amazing. Maybe on a green. No. That works. That works. We'll take it. Get a little, little run in behind. You know, what's funny is that these uh, these uh, animations sometimes work, you know, because the goalie forces himself to do like certain animations afterwards, but we'll take it. Good stuff. I'm going to switch him on the Hunter for now, though. Oh, OK, let's see. I thought he was going to be offside there. Listen, he's well positioned. We'll take it. The shot was kind of weird, though. <laughs> it was kind of weird. Ooh, that was like direct top right. That's a hunter, by the way, is OK. You guys can see it right there. I have to change it up a little bit. I have to change it up. Nice. Just had to wait for that little extra angle to open up there. Good finish. I think the Hunter makes sense too, man, because I, I want the... You guys know how I am with the finish. I got to boost it as much as possible this game, bro. It's got to be close to 99. Because I got to green them as well, you know? Definitely forces those runs for sure. It's a R1 a little bit here. R1 again to get out. Little dribble. R1 again. Gotta pass it off. Because of his agility and balance, you don't want to dribble too much with him, you know? That's a white. Ooh, almost scores a finesse, bro. Almost scores a finesse. Green time on the first time. I wanted to try that too. A little, a little run right there that I liked. That was nice. Touch, touch, bang. Ah, no green. I feel like in this game, I got to do like one more there just to get like a maybe like a tree Vela or something, you know? Because the shots there, unless you do power strike, they're not like too crazy. Ooh, almost got the Burba spin. Let's go up, so uh, one thing I'm going to mention with this card, look after his runs, okay? Like, look after his runs. When, whatever build-up play you have on your team, he's going to really follow that work rate of his. So if I'm here, right, he's going to trigger at some point over here. Watch. I'm going to go over here. Watch the middle trigger. Right there. Make the pass there. Maybe a skill move. L trigger shield. Almost. Maybe a little bit rough to work with on the, um, on the agility and balance. But... See how I triggered it there? Have to wait for some openings here. First touch. Body faint. Full skill move. Oh, good tackle there, man. It's Kunde, that Kunde guy, bro. See a little layoff. Pass the ball. L1. Use his physical a little bit. He has good animations for the finesse shots. That's solid. I, I like that. I like that he has good animations for it. Oh, I really thought he had that for sure. Yeah, 
here it is. Lot pass. Ah, if the pass is like more in the middle, that would have been perfect. So he told you. Even the skill move there didn't come off that badly, considering the agility and balance. Like normal, if you ever do like a Burba cancel and then a Burba top spin in general, uh, some players are like way too emphasized at doing it. Like they don't feel good at all. But with a Bumayang there, it was nice. Oh, a little defensive play there. Nice. And there it is. That's the moment we needed. Quick, right? So he kind of like, he's behind. We're building up the play through the middle. He goes into the space really nicely. Oh, a bombing on the defense? Okay. Oh man, we should get that. Oh, we're good. Nice. Nice. Pass the ball off. Pass it again. Don't dribble too much. Beauty. A little technical. Ah, good tackle. Oh, he skips past him. Oh, get off me, bro. Get off him, bro. Don't touch a bombing. Attacker advantage. There it is. Attacker advantage, bro. If it's a physical dude and they have heading capabilities, a little bit. It's it's more of their like if they're physical dudes, honestly. It's such a FIFA mechanic, man, because like when that law pass comes in, if you're just shooting it right away, like they just have the advantage, I'm telling you. Touch. Don't overcommit because your agility and bounce is not crazy. There you go. Beauty. I like the I like it. I like it. He's gonna push to the side position because Mbappe's here. So now he's gonna do a little bit of that. Bang. A little bit of the technical into the finesse shot. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. First time. Oh uh, yeah, I should I should have touched it. I should have touched it. B for mechanics, B for mechanics, should have touched it. <laughs> See how he has the good animation? Yo, he has good animations for his his power strikes and for the finesse shots, by the ways. It's really good on both of them. Nice. One little touch. See? You don't have to... The agility and balance guys, you obviously notice, but don't dribble too much with him. Like, just one angle. Take the strike on a finisher. He has really good shooting capabilities. The the power strike on the card. Oh. Little touch. And then bang. On a white. And I still score. His power strikes and his finesse shot come off really, really nicely, man. I think, uh, I think L2 guy is the one that's doing the contents for the last, like, week and a half, man. We had, like, basically we had non-tens for, like, so long, honestly. Like, even the FC Pro thing. Like, the upgrades are cool and all, but, like, the promo itself is, you know? Uh, this is a cool card. You know, with cards like this, I was like, ah, you know, maybe they're going to put them at, like, 200k, something like that. I'm like, ugh, why you, why you do this? Why you do this? Guys, 100k for this SPC? Solid, man. It's a card you're putting fodder into to decrease the price. But even if you were to buy this card off of the market for 100k, like, it's it would be pretty solid. Uh, reason being for this is because this card has really good play styles, man. Play styles, again, guys, I tell you guys this all the time. It's a very, very huge variable to work with in the game nowadays. And because he has the good play styles, it kind of fits his, 
it fits the way that he plays in the pitch really nicely, right? So here's the key ones. It's pretty much all of them, right? Rapid, finesse shot, chip shot, flare, trivella. You basically have many options to work with. Now, guys, for me, I didn't really care too much about giving him a hawk. I mean, if you want to, depending on the type of formation that you use, um, you know, by all means, go right ahead. You can give him a mostly lengthy two. Honestly, guys, I was chilling on this car with a Hunter Chemistry on mount because I think that increasing the pace, especially the 99 sprint speed, it's, it's important to give him that because of the rapid, right? But I think it's really, really important to put his finishing in a good area because honestly, he strikes the ball really well in game. You guys can see from his power strike, he does that like crazy like curve one, right? And having that while also having a good finesse shot animation, like his finesse shot animation is really good. Even if he has just a regular finesse shot, he hits them very nicely. It's great. The only main thing that you have to work with when it comes to a Bamiyang is going to be an agility and balance. But guess what? When your agility and balance is set up that way, it's better to use a car like this in a two striker lineup. And you don't want to dribble too much with them anyways. You don't, want, you don't even want to use a technical that much with them, right? The only main thing that you have to be concerned about with the agility mounts is obviously if you're up against a park the bus person you have to utilize the step over acceleration it's a mechanic but you know you got to do it for you to score some opportunities with this car because you need that initial acceleration to get into position to then you know score your opportunities but listen man the attacking ai was cool the shooting comes off nice the finesse shots were awesome you guys can clearly see that um the passing was perfectly fine for a striker again i would love to use a card like this in a two striker lineup so that 4132 that i reviewed not too long ago i was using him as a left striker with griezmann as the right striker and the way they were bouncing off each other was really nice so uh 100k for the sbc great uh great value in my opinion i think he performs really well on game for those of you that enjoy the physical type dudes you're gonna really enjoy using this car like he definitely performs really well in game because listen even for base card stats he already has 93 jumping 93 heading accuracy so you can score a nice header from time to time too you know so he's six foot two right? like the agility and balance part of the card is genuinely the only thing but that's if you like to dribble a lot right it's it that like that's it but everything else is really really good so wsbc honestly if it was a price a little bit higher i would still say wsbc to be honest with you guys i like that the links are easy to work with that's a really huge variable whoever did l2 guy was all over this content today man um it's cool i like him very very solid uh very very solid sbc guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one one guy in my discard already made him a red card so i appreciate stuff like that it's always uh, fun to see but uh yeah i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys